changes, like the start of a new year, are always a good time for reflection. And this is no different. I sit safely in our sheltered corner of the mountain on this rather wet weekend at the start of my third year in Portugal and I reflect and think about many things. How did I get here and the things that I've learnt and I'd quite like to share them with you. So if you're sitting comfortably, I shall begin. Let's go back a bit and give you the backstory and the reasons why I am here. The desire to explore began as healing from the bruises of a broken marriage. I explored roots and paths close to my home the region in England where I was brought up. As my bravery increased, I took myself off on grand adventures. I bought a plane ticket to New Zealand and drove myself around the South Island. That adventure awakened within me a desire to live in another country. So I continued to travel and as I did, I relished the opportunity to learn of other cultures and languages. But moving abroad was not possible at that time. After a few years, I met another who also had the desire to travel and live elsewhere. We made our plans and dipped our toe into the culture of Austria. While we loved the country, we never fully felt settled. When COVID arrived in 2020, our plans changed quite dramatically. we found ourselves on a mountain in central Portugal. If you haven't yet followed the whole story, then now would be a good idea to go start back at the beginning of our adventure on this mountain. I'll put a link down below and if you haven't subscribed, then do think about doing so. For those of you who already know, I'll continue. It is two years now since I first put my feet on this mountain. And as I reflect, I've realized I am fulfilling the dream seeded all those years ago on that solo trip to New Zealand. I am living in another country, learning the culture, learning the language, and have found myself a home. But does the reality of life as an immigrant match expectations or has the dream tarnished slightly? I can only say for me, life here is beyond what I hoped for, but it has come with challenges. I think the biggest one for me has been learning the language. It is taking me a long time.
Every day, I will walk into situations where the chattered conversations going on around me are white noise to me. I don't understand. However, now, ever so slowly, I am taking on more practical conversations. I can make requests, like to the Fregazia. I can deal with a medical exam. I can ask for items at the builder's merchants. I can make simple small talk with people on the cash till at the supermarket. But it has taken me two years. I was, and I am, by nature of language, excluded from society. But these conversations, this grasp of the language, is slowly moulding me into community and making me feel even more at home. I can make friends and have normal chitty chat conversations. The Portuguese on their part are always willing to speak in my language if they can and are so encouraging when I try to speak to them in their own. Understanding the culture of life here has also been challenging at times. There are many aspects of Portuguese life I adore. The greatest being their capacity for hospitality, big meals, big families, gathered together for special occasions with delicious home-cooked food and wine and lots of desserts. Their hospitality is equaled by their generosity. We've regularly been given eggs and food. A friend turned up one day to plant flowers in my garden because she knew that I liked them. However, some aspects of culture are hard. Portuguese bureaucracy does not have a good reputation and unfortunately that continues. The good advice we received was if we hit a problem, come back another day. It's about finding the right person on the right day and they will move mountains for you. The other aspect I find most challenging, particularly here, is the attitude and treatment of dogs. The sound you can hear is um, a dog from one of, I guess, our neighbours in the village who own the land. I've already mentioned this before, you might have heard about it. Um, the terrace that's immediately behind the garden is not our land. And uh, a building has been put. It's quite away from where the dog is. But on Christmas day, a dog appeared it has, it's got food, it's got water, it's got a bed that's sheltered, but it is chained to a tree 
right on the terrace above us and that's what it does that's how it howls and it has done that since Christmas Day now it will have periods where it stops but then it wails like that and um, I've already spoken to some people and and kind of said I mean the first few days and it has done it it's kept us awake at night it's just howling through the night and um, and it's on its own it's just there on its own all day somebody will come and give it food and then they just leave it and it wraps itself around the tree and howls and it's heartbreaking it's heartbreaking a week later and after I made a specific request the dog was moved and it has not returned I do hope it's all right. Despite the issue with dogs, I do feel far richer for having come to live here. But it has taken two years and only now I feel I am becoming established in the community. So, if moving abroad is a goal for you, give yourself two years. Two years to get over the planning, the organising, the moving, the sorting out of bureaucracy and the learning of language. And then you can really start to live. But give yourself two years. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like this video before you leave. And if you haven't already subscribed, please think about it. Then, I'll start a new story very soon. Until then, bye for now. Sun's gone in. It's heading for five o'clock, so Temperature's dropped. It's been lovely out here this afternoon. I haven't needed a cardigan, but now it's the temperature's going to go. <clears throat> so time to go in and come back and uh, and tidy up some more tomorrow. Ah, hello, Mr. Robin. Yeah, the garden's all nicely dug over for you. You have a look and see if there's anything you can eat. Oh, gone. Oh no, it's up there.